What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we are going to be unboxing a Funko Pop mystery box. Surprise, surprise, you probably saw the title. Uh, this is two of the Boom Loot Vaulted and Exclusives Volume 4 set of two mystery box. So this came out this past Monday. What day was that? It came out six days ago, whatever day that was. I think this past Monday. And uh, they were kind of pricey this time around, I won't lie. So each box is going to contain two pops and they were $54.99 each box with a minimum guaranteed value of $50. So not too bad. Like I said, I did get two of them, but of course because of shipping and tax, I ended up having to pay $129.58 for the two, which makes each box come out to be about $65, a teeny bit less than $65. It's $64.79, so we're gonna say $65. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get our value back, but we'll, I guess we'll see. Based off the picture on Instagram, which hopefully will be posted on the screen, um, the reason I wanted to get this box really badly is because one, there's a Tony the Tiger, which I'm still going for. It's the Hollywood exclusive, but still, I'll take it. And then two, they had a ton of Freddy Funkos. A ton. So I see a bunch of different Freddy Funkos, which is cool. You've got our Tony the Tiger, which is awesome. Um, you got some old school, like, Booberry and whatnot. There's so many Freddy Funko Pops though. Like, I felt like every other Funko Pop that they showed in the picture was basically Freddy Funko. So that was really cool. And I'm gonna say that it's really just the Freddy Funko. There's like some random pops here and there that I saw that I was like, oh, cool. Uh, the Coca Cola Bear, because I actually don't know if I was, I don't remember if I was able to get that. So, anyways, we'll see how it goes. I would have purchased more of these as a way to try to get more Freddy Funkos, but it was kind of expensive, so I decided two was good. I usually get at least two in this box because the shipping is like basically the same no matter what you do, so I'm like, well, I might as well, you know, might as well get two. Okay, so we have our, this is one, so they tape them together. This is two. So we're gonna go ahead and check out and see what we got. This is weird, they usually tape them next to each other, not on top of each other. All right, so again, we are looking for around $65 of extra value for um, for each box. So let's do box number one and see how we did. All right, here we go. How do I open this? Okay, here we go, ready? Box number one. So I think basically if I get any of the Freddy Funkos, I'll be happy. If I get some of the ad icons are cool. Obviously, the Tony the Tiger would be awesome. How is it? Ah, oh, okay. We got a Naruto Pop. This is an exclusive. Well, all of these are going to be exclusives. What was this box called? Is it Vaulted and Exclusives? Yes, so all of these Pops are going to be either Vaulted or Exclusive. So this is an exclusive. This is from... Boruto, which I've never even heard of, Naruto Next Generations, and this is a an, an anime, what is it called? Uh, I don't know what they're called, triple A anime? <laughs> okay, there you go. I mean, for anime pops, this is pretty cool. I love the box design. I love all the colors. Box came in pretty good condition. There's definitely some um, plumpage of the box, but nothing that you can't fix by just flattening it out a little bit. All right, here we go. That's pop number one. Ooh, this one's really heavy. I don't know what this would be. This would be like in normal circumstances, like a Hulk pop or a, um, I don't know, Thanos pop. I don't know, but it's heavy. What is it? I didn't see a Hulk pop on there. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. <gasps> okay. Okay, we got, oh, ooh, you guys. We got an 8-bit Freddy Funko. This is from the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con. It's glow in the dark and it's limited to 500 pieces. Now, I'll be honest and say that there were definitely some Funko Pops that they released during the San Diego Comic-Con, probably that year actually in Fun Days, where even though it was limited, it wasn't, like value-wise it wasn't that high, but this is cool. This is a cool one. There is a little nick on the box. I'll show it to you. It's nothing too crazy. 
I wouldn't say the box is in mint condition, but it's still cool. The nick is actually, where is it? It's right here. Can you see it? That little dark piece right there. Okay. So we got glow in the dark, 8-bit Freddy Funko. That's why it was so heavy. I didn't even think to think it was gonna be an 8-bit. Limited to 500. Okay. Now, I love Freddy Funko. What I'll say about this pop is I'm super glad I got it, but obviously it doesn't really look like Freddy Funko. I love, there's something about just like normal Freddy Funko that I really like. I don't know what, what it is, but there's something about it. Okay, let's see, box number two. Let's see how we did. You know, by them stacking the boxes, I just realized that they only have to use one sticker. So maybe they did this so they could save a sticker. Here we go. This is our box number two, first pop. This one has a regular weight to it. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Ah, that's so funny. Okay. So we, and this is funny because I, I noticed this pop in there and I was like, oh, that's so strange that they have this. I should get it. Now this pop definitely moved in the box so the inside's kind of destroyed a little bit, but we got our BB-8 SF Giants exclusive. I actually bought this on eBay at some point. It was kind of expensive. I don't think that like it's as expensive now, but how cool is that? I love the San Francisco Giants. I love BB-8. It's like two of my favorite things. Now, he has fallen completely off of his base, and that also means that the bat has rubbed up against the plastic um, window, and so it's like the paint from the bat, you can see that it scratched, but um, after the video, I'll fix him and make him right again. Okay, that's cool. It's cool because I mean, this is so me. I already have that pop, but it might be one of those ones like I think I would totally take that out of the box and put it like on my desk because that to like such a representation of me. Okay, last box. Let's see how we did. How is it? <laughs> All right. We got Randy Watson from Coming to America. This was a Funko Shop exclusive. I don't remember, I don't think I ended up buying this set. I do love coming to America, but I don't remember buying this uh, set of pops when it released on the Funko shop. So there's that and that. Okay, these are our four pops. I'll be honest and say, I, I definitely am excited that we got this, even though I already have it. And of course I like the 8-Bit Freddy Funko and it's limited to 500, which is one of the lowest counts that I have in my collection. Not so much a fan of these two pops, but it happens. Let's go ahead and price these out. Oh, let's do pop, the pop is right. So let's see what we think. Oh gosh. I assume we didn't get any, I don't think we got any of the vaulted pops. I think most of these are just technically exclusives. I'm gonna assume that the 8-Bit Freddy's the most. Not a good assumption, because sometimes, like I said, Freddy Funkos are usually around like $30, but this is limited to $500, so. I'm gonna say that, I think that this Coming to America pop is gonna be the least valuable. The Funko Shop exclusives haven't been able to hold their value very much. Um, I have no idea how much this is worth, so I'm gonna stick with this as my pop is right order. I'll give you guys two seconds to decide your order. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see how we did. A lot of people have been asking me what am I using to find the values, and I am using the Funko app. It was formerly Stashpedia, Funko bought out Stashpedia, and now it's just all in the Funko app. Everything's kind of like merged together. Uh, okay, Randy Watson is going for, oh gosh. Wow, really? I remember this coming up and me going like, nah, it's cool. This is from 2018. It's worth $41. Ugh. That's great value, but means that I'm most likely gonna lose the pop is right. Like pretty poorly, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So this pop doesn't actually have a value. This is new. So this just came out. There is a glow chase edition, which is going for $70, but this is the regular one. So I'm gonna really quickly look up pop price guide. If the chase is going for 70, then I bet you the regular is probably going for like 20. I don't think it's gonna be going for any more than 30. 30 would be really, really high. All right, Naruto with our, ah, oh, 
this one doesn't have a value either. So that glow is still going for 70, according to PopRx. I should have known that because honestly, the Funko app takes their prices from Pop Price Guide, so they're probably gonna be very much the same. I'm gonna quickly look up eBay prices just to see what that looks like and to see if there's any kind of like around value. It looks like there's a lot of these for sale, so this wasn't, clearly it wasn't like a hard, I don't think it was a hard to get thing. Honestly, I probably could look on their website. I wonder if I could look on their website and see if they had that for sale but let's see. Okay, let's see. So the regular, okay, I was wrong. The regular, honestly, you could probably, I, you could give this $10. Somebody's selling this for $10, free shipping. Um, it looks like probably the more average price is $15 with free shipping, but we're gonna go 10 because I'm looking at a $10 one. So I definitely lost in the, in the pop is right already, but that's okay. All right, we have our BB-8 SF Giants exclusive. I think I paid like $100 for this when I ended up buying it, but I want to say I looked back on it later and it was like $30, $24. So, okay, that sounds about right. And then let's see how we did with this Glow in the Dark 8-Bit Freddy Funko. Limited to 500, so I have high hopes for this one. I don't know if this is going to be worth more than $41, but I hope it is. Yes, this is worth $90. Dollars that saved me just now. Okay, so in total, my total value is 165. Um, which ones came together? So these two came together, and then these two came together. So between the two, just we're going for the $65 per box. Um, we got our 91, or I'm sorry, our $90 plus our $10, so this box was worth $100. So that got around $35 worth of extra value. That's really good. And honestly, again, this pop makes it. This is just kind of extra for me. Now for this one, it was it was 41 plus uh, 24. So this box hit $65 worth of value exactly. And that so that means that this is basically a win because we just, we got our money back. Um, I did get a pop that I liked too. So that's cool. I wish I didn't already have it, but that's okay. I would definitely say, obviously, I like this box better. If I would have gotten, like, these two pops together, that would have been the ultimate best box. But all in all, I'm going to say that this is a win because I got my value. The pops that I got aren't as exciting as they usually are sometimes, um, for the most part. I really do love this Freddy Funko, and uh, I want to go watch videos to see what other Freddy Funkos people pulled because, like I said, this release had tons of Freddy Funko Pops, like so many Freddy Funko Pops. I wish the box wasn't so expensive because I would have tried to buy more for sure, but there you go. All right, well, I'm gonna consider this a win because we got a ton of extra value. Um, well, we got, what did I say, $35 worth of extra value. So I'll take that for any Funko Pop mystery box. Uh, always the friendly disclaimers when you're getting Funko Pop mystery boxes, it's kind of a treasure hunt, it's kind of a gamble. Um, you go into it, you know, hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Uh, luckily with things like this and you, you know, you go into it knowing that there's gonna be a minimum value that you're gonna get. So I would have been a little bit sad if honestly like two of these pops were only worth $50 because that would have technically been a $15 loss since the boxes with with all the shipping and everything cost um, $65. But I'm not gonna think about that because that didn't happen to me. So anyways, uh, Boom Loot is still one of my favorite Funko Pop mystery boxes and I've been cutting back a little bit but I do keep an eye on their boxes because I don't know they've just been a little bit more lucky for me and I just like their style a little bit more so I'm a fan. All right guys that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below did anyone get the vaulted and exclusive volume for Boom Loop mystery boxes? If so what did you get? And did you get the pop is right right? I totally failed miserably. The only thing I got right was the last one. So I did get one out of four, correct? But the uh, coming to America pop really threw me off. So how did you do? And which one is your favorite pop out of all of these? Let me know down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. 
Today's video shot's gonna go to Super Spence. Super Spence, you get the video shot. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. Thank you so much for always finding your way back to me. I appreciate that greatly, and I wanna give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Super Spence! Shout out to you! All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!